Hello. Happy holidays. Um, this is Carrie Molina from Yellow Brick Road Studio in Gainesville, Virginia. And I wanted to come on and let you know that um, I have been working on my art journals for Christmas. I want to get them into my Etsy shop. And as I was working on them, I'm just sitting here thinking, I bet you for newbies, um, it might be interesting to or helpful for you to see how I organize my stuff as I'm making my Christmas art journals. Um, this might not look organized to type A personalities. <laughs> um, I think I'm somewhere between A and B. I don't know. But I wanted to just share with you. Um, and even if you, you know, take these little tours and watch these little videos of people and um, artists doing what they do, um, maybe even if you just got one tip out of it, you know, it's sort of worth it. And I just know that I enjoy watching other people's uh, organization process. And so I thought maybe you might enjoy it as well. So I thought I'd just share with you. Um, so I have already assembled uh, some of, well, let me just show you. So these <clears throat> are my little tinies that I'm working on right now. And, <clears throat> excuse me, I did a master board where I just did a whole big piece of collage um, with Christmas papers and scraps and stickers and such. And then I cut them all up, uh, cut it all up into four by four squares. And those are going to be the covers of these art journals. Um, so that's already been done and I've already got my signatures planned. And that would be like a whole different video, right? But, um, so I've already got those started and Again, like I said, I can go into that another time. This is one that's made out of an old book. And what I do is once I've, you know, created my bindings, however I'm going, sorry, however I'm going to do those, and I have um, chosen the sizes and, you know, chosen the papers, then I kind of put it together as in I'm going to work on this as a package, you know, deal another time. And so if you look right here, I have a whole bunch of those. These are in progress. So you've already got the cover. You've already got the pages planned out. And also, um, like I said, I just throw the scraps in there of whatever I was cutting up for pages. I throw everything in there. So you'll see stuff sticking out. That's how I know um, this is the stuff I'm going to be using <clears throat> for that art journal, paper-wise. So I've got these all ready paper wise. And as I come upon other papers in my process, I will grab them. So this, let me show you, this is where I keep my large pads, large pads of scrapbook paper. And then next to it is a bin that I call my small pads. So those you're gonna find the little um, six by sixes. And um, well, these are just little paper pads, note paper. And the, you know, nine and a half by 11 computer size um, pads. So that's a bin that has the smaller papers. This, again, is the bin with the bigger papers. So those are what I pulled from to do the process so far that I've shown you. So some of these are little golden books. Like I said, some of these are little minis. Some of them are a little bit bigger. So I have a pile then of journals in process paper-wise, right? Um, I do suggest clips. Those help you organize everything and keep it together. So that's what I've got so far as my pile of journals in process. What I've done, if you can notice, is this is the table on which I teach my classes. But because this is Thanksgiving week, I took it over as just myself. I have a perfectly good space behind me, my desk that I usually work at. Um, it's perfectly fine and perfectly lovely, but because I have so much stuff for Christmas, I let myself spread it all out and get it all organized and work on this table while I don't have classes this week because it's the week of Thanksgiving. So again, I thought 
that that made me think, let me share my process with you a little bit. Um, it's not perfect by any means, and there's a lot of overlap, but it works for me at the moment. And, you know, I'm always tweaking. I'm sure you're always tweaking. So let's do a little tour of what's going on here. So this I have next to me on a chair, and it's just a big box. And in the box, I have, <clears throat> this is scrap bag. So this is a bag with lots of little tinies, right? Because that happens and um, you want to be able to pull out little, little things. Then I have this finger, let your fingers do the walking kind of thing with all Christmas cards that I have uh, cut up and kept the imagery on and I can pull from there based on, okay, I'm doing a Santa uh, journal. There's a Santa. I'm doing, you know, a nativity journal. Let me find a, a nativity scene or whatever. So those are all old Christmas cards I hopefully get from other people and um, they save them for me. Then um, it goes into a large ephemera sheets, I guess I could say. There's music, um, book pages that have already been pulled apart. This is some um, large, like, I don't know, cutouts that I found somewhere in a store. I don't know. More large cutouts. So these are in here. Then I have some folders that are sort of organized. This one is all magazine or catalog pages that I have ripped out because I think that would be cool to use in an art journal. So a lot of Christmas trees, a lot of Christmas tree um, catalogs. So that is this folder. And then it goes into scraps of paper that have already been cut for journals, but I wanted to save the scraps or like pieces of um, uh, wrapping paper. These are old Christmas patterns for like uh, needlepoint. So again, large ephemera. Some scrapbook pages that are just scraps. Um, oh, this next folder, if I can find it, is homemade papers. So I keep those sort of separately because I like to include in every journal I do uh, a piece, at least one piece of, you know, painted paper that I did. So these are just scraps that I've already cut from, but these are like my gel plate prints um, and paint other painted papers that I've done so that there can be homemade stuff inside the journals. So that's contained in a folder. Then it goes into all my Christmas books that I pull pages from and imagery from or words. So these are all just my old books, or they'll become an actual journal because I like the whole cover of it. So there are definitely some duplicates in here, you'll see, because, you know, it was a quarter at a garage sale or something, and I, I want to pull it apart or make it into a journal. So those are all my books. And then the last guy in here is a big like acrylic folder and this is what I call words these are my word this is my words folder so this has um, the words parts of my Christmas cards that I've cut up already in one section the top section has text from old books um, that I have already cut out to use in my journals and in the very back section is what I call my store bots. So these are all texts, words that I can use, but I've purchased them, you know, at the store or printed out from people's um, like printable, purchased them and, and printed them out on paper and cut them apart. So that's what I call my words, and that goes in the very back. Um, this bin is. Um, well, I call it my, in my brain, I call it my tags. So are they all tags? No, but I, I know what I mean. <laughs> so these are all either actual gift tags for packages, but I buy them for journals. Um, sometimes they are the foldy outy kind, you know, like this and they open. Oh, look, that's an old one from, um, 
an actual gift, but I saved it because I know that I can put something else in there, cover it up, and it makes a great um, piece for a journal. Also, so sometimes I purchase them. Let's see what this is. This is uh, Santa tags. I mean, really, how cute is that? So it's a whole package of Santa tags in there. Um, scrapbook. Oh, these are my, I've got some homemades in there. So these are tags I've made before with painting or jelly plate printing. These are store-bought where you can just buy them, you know, scrapbook tags. So it's all just mostly store-bought tags, um, enclosures. This is probably like a gift card enclosure, but how cute is that? Perfect for journaling. Little envelopes. Again, sparkly tags I've purchased. More ho homemade ones. More ones I've made. This, you wouldn't believe, but I made these cards um, when I was in college to send out. They're Christmas cards that I never sent out, but they're collaged, which is hilarious. What else is in here? Okay, you've got your Tim Holtz Christmas. Um, look at this box of tags I purchased last, probably last year on the Clarence section, but they're so cute. What else? Oh, these are um, also gift card enclosures, holders, and those would make great pockets for journals as well. And then all these are like cutouts, like shapes that you can buy. Um, that was like in the kids craft section at Hobby Lobby or something. Cutouts. Um, and this is my uh, strips for like uh, borders, border strips. And then that's like a big cardstock ephemera piece I bought somewhere. So that's what I call my tags and, and borders. Um, this <clears throat> is a, this is all the strips that were cut from the papers I've been using in my journals. So these are nice uh, squared off strips that I can use in the journals as well. And they go with the papers that I've used in the journal so far. This next box is, I call it my stickers box. So again, you can see some overlap starting, but I don't mind. This is stickers. So these are all already adhesives, stickers that I've purchased or gotten along the way. Um, even in my teaching days, even from my old teaching days. Um, but some of them will work for journals. What else? Yep, they're just all stickers, 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 stickers. And they go up to really big stickers. And there's some adhesive um, uh, border strips. Stickers, stickers, stickers. So I love that that's all together. I know that that's there. These next two boxes are my ribbons. Christmas themed ribbons. So I have so much ribbon in my life that I do uh, organize it by theme. So it used to be organized, but then, you know, it used to look good in the box even, but now it's uh, not. <laughs> so this is just lots and lots of ribbon. You can use paper ribbon like that you would use to, for gifts. Um, I like this one that looks kind of like Santa's beard. Lots and lots of stuff in there. Get it on clearance. This wasn't necessarily for Christmas, um, but those plaids are great for Christmas. Just whenever I find stuff, I just grab it for my collection. Uh, sequin strings. Uh, this is some elastic ribbon. And then, like I said, I have two bins. So this is another bin right here. Um, this started out as being like the wider ones. Uh, sometimes I use these when I make wreaths. But also they can be used for journaling. So that's what you see there. The next little box here is my washi. Christmas washi. Um, this box is felt and I just bought a huge thing of these little stockings at one point years and years ago and so now I just have them in this box because I might want to put one on the front of a uh, journal or something like that but yeah that's just felt. Fabric. This is my bin of fabrics down there. I try to include fabric in every journal that I do. 
this section. So this tray I purchased um, last year because I was teaching a craft a Christmas clap Christmas craft class. There we go. Say that fast. Um, so it just happens to be sorted like that. So I can just take it on the road to a class. But really, this is um, my my little container right here. Um, look at that. It's like yummy, right? Um, I have my little um, pom-poms, uh, collected beads, buttons. This is really old vintage -y stuff that I think I might have had this in my grandmother's bin. Uh, these are all my little charms I've purchased either on um, Etsy or um, this is an old Christmas pin. Sequins, more beads, uh, old, um, old mini ornaments, and more beads and buttons. So that is super fun. Then this box is, um, I don't even know what I call this box when I'm talking to myself. This is like embellishments, I guess I would probably call it. This is like... Again, you're going to see overlap, but it's just, it is what it is. But this is like all, they're all standing up to make more room, but they're like 3D embellishments. Like, let's pull some stuff out. You've got, what is this? Okay, so little stockings. What is this? Um, these are, look, this says buttons. Are these bu buttons? Yeah, buttons reduced down to 74 cents. Um, this could probably go in here where I just showed you there was a section for buttons. So that could be switched out. Let's see. These are fabulous. I don't even know where I got these, but I love these for journals. These little um, clothes pins. And then just like, like I said, 3D stickers. Um, what else? All kinds of embellishments that you can use for our journals. I've got things in little, probably these were for a class as well, but there's a whole bunch of sequins there. My little, um, this is all Brad's. So yeah, you get the idea of that. I've got my little Christmas hooks here. So because, you know, I don't just make journals, I also make uh, ornaments and other kind of crafts and stuff. So I've got all kinds of stuff there. Sort of like uh, 3D embellishments. And then this is all of my rubber stamps together. Um, this is my Christmas themed stencils. Of course I use my regular stencils as well if I just need some background work or you know small dots or things like that. But I do have my Christmas stencils uh, together, just in case I want something super themey. That is actually all bells. Um, so that's more for when I make Christmas ornaments and crafts. This is tissue paper. Again, I like to have a piece of tissue paper in all of my journals because I like to have <clears throat> a variety of textures of papers. So I kind of keep those together. We talked about already these um, these paper bins. That is my little section for nativity stuff because that's a specific theme. And some people have requested me doing, you know, a, a nativity theme, a more religious theme. And so, um, and I've made little shadow boxes in that theme. So that's everything nativity, like cards, papers, uh, 3D embellishments and things like that. Keep that separate. And what else can I show you? Oh, so basically I just, you know, I just created this like makeshift station. Like I said, my actual station is over there behind me. But um, so I've got my nonstick thing. I've got my um, my cutting board thing. Um, oh, I got these recently. I don't think these were even meant to be Christmassy, but check it out. These are little binder clips all in Christmas colors. And so I was like, um, yes, I'm going to be needing that. And just over the course of doing these, um, these, I have already got it, got out my, I've been working with my scissors. I've got my little clips, like I said. Um, of course, a bone folder. I've got um, my glue. And 
Uh, these are some strips also that I've already cut, um, was making bindings with. So I was like, I, these were extra, so I can always make more bindings with those. Um, and what else? Just wanted to sort of show you the, the method to my madness here. And, um, the order of operations, basically. My, my son's been working on that in math, so that's me thinking in that way. But, um, yeah, the order of operations, like I said, I work uh, choosing the covers, choosing am I going to use a book or am I going to use my collage cutouts or something else altogether, maybe cardboard covered in fabric, different things like that. And then I cut the pages that I need. Let's see. We'll, we'll flip through a Rudolph here. So this is a Rudolph. Okay, these are, like I said, they're going to be scraps in here because I know I'm going to want to cut them out further. What's this paper right here? Oh, that's just, oh, this, you'll see this in there in the pages, but I had leftover, so that's more of that. So then when I use the golden books, I use some of the imagery from the golden book itself. Um, just kind of getting ideas, trying to match the pages like that, so you'll see that. This is like, again, these are just the basics. This is just started out me attaching my pages in, using some of the pages from the actual book itself. And then sticking in there the rest of the things that I might use as I gather my page stuff. This is all the rest of the pages from the book that I might use imagery from. This is a magazine thing I found on Rudolph. So that's me putting all the pages together first. Santa's surprise. And then just again, all the stuff that is here. I stuck in there because I know I'm going to use it that it matches with my stuff I've already done. That is a blank page. Obviously, that will get embellished or covered up with fabric or paper. These are all just the pages in the very beginning stages. And then all of the stuff that I think I'm going to use with it. So that's how, that's what I mean when I say those are the beginning stages. Then I set up all these, this station for getting ready to go into into it further, embellish the pages, make the um, tassels, that's what the ribbon is for, and then the, um, the beads and all that. So that's a whole nother stage where I'll make the tassels, um, the, you know, clip-ons. I have a whole bin behind me that is my everyday, like, uh, wire and thread and uh, clips to to put things together for like the tassels and stuff. So those would be a whole nother video, but I hope you maybe even could grab one tip from that. Um, that would make me happy. And I would like to uh, post another video as I move into the next stages of my Christmas journals. So thanks again for watching and I will see you guys later. Bye.